Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of the Elixir Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're gonna be setting up our project to actually receive web requests. Now this may feel like we're moving up forward way too fast, we just generated a project and now we're gonna accept web requests. Um, I'm gonna walk you guys through, first of all, we need to be able to kind of like do some of the basic stuff with the web request. And then we, we can go in and, and kind of like learn the, you kind of like the foundation stuff uh, so you'll see some stuff in here that you don't understand. Um, I mean, we've already seen it. Like, you know, what, are the, what what is this use, mixed project and all that. We'll cover all that as we go on building the project. Uh, but what I really want to do is kind of like set up some dependencies. Like that's one of the basic things we're going to do. How do we actually install dependencies? So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, hex.pm as well. So uh, hex.pm is kind of like a repository for all the, the packages in the Erlang ecosystem. So Elixir and Erlang packages are all here in one place. That's great, which means it's gonna be very easy for us to kind of like look up libraries and you know tools and whatever. Um, and also it has really great documentation. So I just wanna put that out there. The Elixir ecosystem in general, most of the libraries out there are gonna have really great documentation because documentation is a first class citizen in uh, the Elixir uh, you know, ecosystem. Uh, so let's take a look at what Plug is. So Plug is kind of like a connection adapter. So it takes a web request and then basically it turns it into these things that we can use. Um, you know, so you can create middlewares using Plug, you can create a router. So it has a router build it, built in which makes it kind of like the Sinatra or Express if you're coming from JavaScript. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up Plug and Cowboy. Cowboy is the web server, so it's like the server that actually takes a request, the lowest level, uh, the interfaces with the browser, and then basically sends a request over to Plug, and then Plug handles it to us, and then we can do whatever we want. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install Plug, and uh, then we're gonna install Cowboy. So here, let's start. So we're gonna use Cowboy, so we're gonna use 2.4. 2.5 just came out today, and I don't know what are some of the bugs that's in there, so I don't wanna you know, jump the gun just yet, so I'm just gonna stick with 2.4. And plug, we can use uh, 1.6, I believe. Yeah, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is, once we add this in here, what we can do is we're gonna mix depths get, and what that'll do is it'll uh, install all the dependencies for us. As you can see here, it's installed all the dependencies for us and we can now actually set up uh, the project. So what one thing we need to do is we need to add Cowboy. And plug to here as extra applications. Uh, so we need to now set up our supervision tree. So you know, if you are wondering how this project even got started, check out the site, check out codemy.net. We have a introductory episode that shows you you know, talks about the project that we're creating and, you know, like what what kind of thing we're gonna get involved with, what kind of thing we're trying to create, um, what problem we're trying to solve. Um, and you'll see how we actually generated this project. We talk in detail about what the Elixir programming language is, what are the advantages of using Elixir and generating a project and why would we generate a project a certain way. Uh, so check that out on our site. We have uh, member exclusive videos for Elixir already. Um, so here what I wanna do is I'm gonna, um, you know, set up Cowboy to use our basic plug. So we're gonna create this hello world plug over here. We're using the plug router. Um, and you can see here, the example is pretty straightforward. Um, and I'll talk you guys through like what it is and you know how we actually do this. So this is using the old specification for the child spec. Uh, I'm gonna use a new specification. So here I'm gonna do uh, plug.adapters cowboy2 and then we're gonna pass in the option. So scheme is HTTP, plug is gonna be bot tiffle, and then basically options is gonna be port, and we're gonna start with port 8080. So that's all we need to do in terms of setting up the you know, supervision tree over here. This will work just fine. So the next thing we're gonna to need to do is gonna set up the plug router. So use plug.router. So don't worry so much about what you use as yet. We'll walk through you guys through all that later. So I'm gonna remove all this hello world code from here. And then we're gonna do a plug uh, match, plug dispatch. So these are kind of like the most, um, you know, low level router that you can have with a plug router. Like just, you know, including 
plug match and plug dispatch. So what plug match and plug dispatch are, they're just middlewares that do certain things. And we'll, we'll actually be writing our own middleware later down the line as well. Uh, so we're gonna do a get, hello, and then do, and then we're gonna write, um, you know, send RSP con okay world. So our hello world uh, server should just output the word world when we go over to the hello route. Uh, so that's pretty much all we need to do. Uh, very simple, very straightforward. It's gonna be a get request. Um, so get is actually not a part of Elixir. It's actually a part of the plug. That's what uh, you know. This allows us to do is like write, you know, use DSL like uh, domain specific languages like get and create our own stuff, you know, like this. And uh, you know, we'll walk you through how to actually do some of this stuff later down the line as we progress. But for now, this is kind of like the most basic. Uh, web application that you can have within with Elixir. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start up our application now, and then basically we're going to try and um, you know go to the browser and actually you know load up the request and see what happens. Um, so I'm going to run IEX mix just like that. Uh, so that's just start up our server. So we don't see any output or anything like that because we're not doing any logging. Uh, we'll go into that as well. So that's another foundational thing we need to know. Uh, so I'm gonna go into the browser here. I'm gonna do go to localhost 8080. And we should see nothing, but if we go to world, uh, hello, world, there we go. So our server actually responded. Uh, so it, it you know, kind of had this error because our browser was trying to get the Fevicon and we don't have any hand, like way to handle that. Uh, so the way we would do that, we can use something like match and then uh, just you know, in a match all, we could uh, do, so actually the example is right here. So we could just return a 404. So just do a send RESP con uh, not found, not found. So that will pretty much handle all of the 404s that we have. So if I do that, um, you know, oh, another thing we need to set up is, you know, uh, automatic re reloading of code. So when we hit save, it should reload the code, auto reloading. So we don't have to close the server and start it up again. So actually this is a very bare minimum uh, thing. This is why we don't have, uh, you know, handling for any of that stuff. So also it would be nice to kind of like see the output of the server uh, as it's serving requests. It is serving requests right now, as you can see here, if I hit the URL, you'll see that it is coming from the Cowboy2 server. So I'm gonna head over to the network over here and then I'm gonna hit uh, reload again. So you can see here. So it's returning a 404 correctly now without throwing an error in our console. Um, but if you check out this hello, you'll see that you know the server is Cowboy uh, and it is serving the request correctly. Uh, so yeah. I believe we can even see more details. Nope. Okay, so it's you know it's returning the request from our server and everything is working. Uh, so what I really want to do next is basically um, you know walk you guys through you know you know talk a little bit about okay now that we can handle requests, what is a con, right? What is a con? Con uh, represents connection, if you will. That's why you see you'll see this con everywhere in a plug uh, in a plug code base. Um, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna serve static pages. Um, so this episode is free. Uh, so if you're watching this video, uh, give us a like on YouTube. Uh, check out our site for more detailed, um, you know, code examples and, you know, the, the previous episode, which is a member exclusive episode. Uh, and then, you know, you'll be able to catch up to what it is we're doing over here. So this is a good point to pause. Um, you know, we kind of should set up some kind of logging as well. So we need to do that uh, in the next episode. So in the next episode, I'll show you guys how to set up logging and a few other things um, as well. Like, you know, we'll talk about serving static pages. You know, that's exactly what we're going to be doing with the server-side rendering because what it is we're going to be doing is we're going to have our JavaScript app compiled into a static, si uh, static uh, you know, bundle with index JavaScript style sheet and images. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use plug right here to serve that static page. Um, so yeah, which means I'm gonna give you guys kind of like a sample React application to go with this as well. 
All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. I'll become a member on our site to get access to all of our content. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode.